Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Pokemon Go. Today, guys, we have Galarian Stonefist is back in the wild, guys, for this whole event. So let's try to get some of these Pokemon, guys, because Galarian Stonefist is one of the best Pokemon in the entire game. Is also a great Pokemon, actually, for the Ultra League that is right now, and also it's gonna be good for the uh, Grey League guys. So let's go right into the news guys and explain a little bit about him, what are his moves, what are Pokemon he's good against and what his weaknesses. I'm gonna explain everything in here guys, but remember we before we get into the video, always sub to the channel guys, like this video. It's very important guys, all right? So just make sure to give it some love, all right? Just And also guys, I wanna ask you guys, what do you think of Stonefist? If it's good, it's bad, how you guys use it, uh, let me know, all right? Because it's uh, ranked number two on the entire meta for the Great League, and also number, I think it's number two also on the Ultra League. So it's a great Pokemon, guys. We're gonna clear all doubt in this, um, on this video, and let's get right into it, guys. So Stomphys, Galarian Stomphys, guys, it's a ground and steel Pokemon is going to have a lot of resistances, but it's also it's going to have his weaknesses too. Um, this is going to be good, guys. Like uh, a starter of your team, you can start with this Pokemon at the beginning, or you can use it at last. I don't think you can use it as a safe swap, and because of his typing, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, guys. All right. Also, guys, here eh, you guys can run it with Machad, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. That's his three signature moves, guys. Don't put muddy water on this Pokemon. I have seen a few people that have muddy water in here. Muddy water is not good. Make sure you have Rock Slide and Earthquake, guys. Machart is very, very important. Also, can this Pokemon can learn my Mood Slap and here is Mood Slap, Mood Shot, and Metal Claw. All right, so this Pokemon has Rock Slide, Earthquake, Muddy Water, and Flash Cannon. But the best move for him is gonna be Rock Slide and Earthquake. So he's gonna have been good guys. Number one, he's gonna he's gonna have a good day against the Bastidon. Also against the Lantern too. Remember, Lantern is one of the meta Pokemon right now, also too. Altaria, since Altaria it's a flying, he can hit it with the rock slide. Nine tails of Alola, guys. Remember this Pokemon is a uh, rock and the uh and and the uh, charm. Alright, let's go. Uh, also, guys, we have he's gonna be good against the Registeel too, guys. Key losses is guys is gonna have a bad day against the Medicham, but he, with one shield, guys, I think we can make it. I have seen, you know, people come out good against the Medicham with one shield advantage. Also, he's gonna uh, suffer a little bit against the Sableye. I remember Sableye is a great Pokemon. The Noctowl, guys, because Noctowl is. He, he have it with uh, he has uh, shadow ball. He's gonna give us a little bit of damage, guys. But remember, Nactal is a flying, so Rock Slide is gonna be again super effective against the Trevenant, guys. You can hit him with uh, Rock Slides. Also, Trevenant he has access to shadow ball, which it's not that good. But he's gonna have you know he's gonna have some trouble with it, guys. Also, Mary, guys, I think we can win right here. Bubble Bean, guys, on the Asul Meryl against the uh, Stonefish. The only problem is if Asul Meryl is wrong with uh, Hydro Pump, then it's going to be a trouble there, guys. But um, if you, you know, if you go with Earthquake against the Asul Meryl, I think you guys are going to be good. I think it takes like two uh, Earthquakes, so you can have it really, really, really low. So, all right. So, on that, guys, right here, guys. Rank 1 for this Pokemon, the IB is a very important guys, it's 0, 12, 15. He gets on a max AP of 1498 for the Great League, level 28 and a half. So remember these IBs guys, also the IBs for the Ultra League is going to be the Hondo 15, 15, 15. And you know that's going to be for the Ultra League guys. Here as his performance since an attacker. It has almost everything, it's a 97. The consistency is a little low, but the lead, the switch, the charger, the closer the attacker, guys. It's more than a lead, that's what I was talking about here. And we can have an, I don't think it's been good like a safe swap right here, guys. I don't consider this a safe swap, 
but in case guys if you guys are running something else you know let's say you guys running like a fighter at the lead and you get like a like a flyer type coming in you can bring this out no problem the stormfish can take care of all most of the flyers so here it is guys bulky spammy flexible dynamic shield pressure defensive and a low fast move pressure so that means it takes five much shots let me see where are they here all right that's not there sometimes it shows guys the uh move count right here also um all right here it is guys so yeah uh where are we okay the weaknesses guys are here uh it's very weak to fighting fire ground and water that's gonna be his weaknesses four weaknesses guys is gonna resist poison rock electric steel psychic normal flying fairy dragon and bug so there's more resistances guys the most of the weaknesses that's what i'm saying having this is a uh it's a lead pokemon on your team and also it's a closer pokemon so he can close down guys games like no problem all right as bad a distance is going to be five kilometers charge move goes is going to be seventy five thousand stardust and so that's going to be it guys galarian stomp is great pokemon uh guys we're going to need 296 xl so my recommendation for this uh to get the 296 if you guys don't have just make sure you catch as many stonefish and then trade it with the friend more than 100 kilometers away so make sure on that guys so you maximize on this pokemon and i think that's it guys all right so i'll give you guys all the cons and pros against uh this pokemon and i think it's a great pokemon guys number two on the entire meta you can check it out guys right here number two and none guys all right i see you uh wait hold on guys let me check let's check on the uh ultra league where are you where are you all right i'm losing a little bit of oh there we go galarian stonefish excel like it's right here guys number 24 but still great Pokemon guys. So on the Ultra League guys, since we have, um, what's it called? Uh, many, many, many Pokemon guys coming into this meta. Now the meta has changed a little bit, ranked 24, but still he performs great against many, many Pokemon guys. All right, Kilos is here on the Ultra League guys. Swamp Perhaps, Sagun, Tapu Fini. All these two are water types, guys. He suffers a little bit against the Trevenant and the Hedatina, but these two guys, the Trevenant and Hedatina, you can hit him with Earthquake. So he's going to have a good day against the Mook, Pidgeot, Cresselia, Walrent, and Charizard, Cresselia, because he resists Plan, uh, and it also resists the um, Charm. So let's see, guys. I mean, Fairy. <laughs> I always keep forgetting about it, guys. I don't know why. It's a Charm fairy whatever it is <laughs> all right so here it is guys like i was saying he gets to level 50 if you best buddy this pokemon guys he can get to level 51 so it's it's really really good guys all right i hope you guys have a good hunting on this pokemon and i see you guys in the next video goodbye